So to install Clojure, uh, you want to install a tool called Line again. I'm just using Brew to install it. I've already installed it before. Um, and what Line again will do is it'll allow you to create the, the backbone of Clojure projects. So it'll create the whole folder structure for you and everything. To create a new app with Line again, just go Line, New App, um, and I'm going to call this app My Clojure App. Once that's done, you can CD into the new folder. Uh, CD into my Clojure app and we can open that in VS Code. Once we open that, uh, we can see there's a source directory. Here is the main entry point for our file. Um, but now if we want to run Clojure, we're going to have to install a, a Clojure extension. So go to install extensions, then type in Clojure. And you want to install the one by Andre Listen. Once that's, uh, start, once that's installed, then uh, a REPL will start and you can see here one is started at uh, port 50291 and now we can actually execute Clojure code inside VS Code uh, and to do that it's really simple. He has a basic Clojure function which adds one to one. We open up our command palette inside Visual Studio Code, go to Clojure, um, eval and show the result and it will show us the result right there which is two. So let's just do that again. We create a new function this time let's add one to two very original, open up our command menu, go to closure, eval and show the result, um, select that and then we have a result of three. And we can also say a equals one to three, we eval and obviously that's false. Cool. So we nearly finished. The last thing we want to do is check print lines which are kind of like console logs. So when we evaluate a print line it actually returns nil but it must print somewhere. So we press control tilde, we go to output and we select evaluation results. And here we can see where the, where the print lines go. Um, let's just show you again, yeah, eval and show result and it prints again. And that's pretty much it for executing code in VS Code. If you wanna run the project as a whole, open up your terminal and then type in the command line run and that will execute the the main function and start up our project here just to show you again we update this here i forgot to save so nothing is going to change but if i save the file and rerun it then we should see hello world again cool and that's pretty much setting up closure and running it in vs code